So we had some funky bad luck. This is the third time for this canvas. Um, it's the one I scraped and then I painted on it. I didn't like how that worked. Then I tried it again and this time I just had fun with it. And in the end, I just put it on the spinner and it took care of all of my issues. So still got all my weird funny lines and my stripes and all that kind of rainbow color. Obviously I'm in the room again, I'm in the way again, but that, that turned out okay. It's not what I wanted, okay? Not at all. With some leftover paints, I made this. It was a flip cup. <laughs> um, and again, I'm sorry about the lighting. Ugh. There's the painting. Um, it's on a, a turntable so I can move it. Uh, it did, I put silicone. I was playing with silicone and I forgot how much I hate holes. So there's a lot for me to hate on this, but there's also some cells that are just plain interesting. And if I if I just thought of it earlier, I would have put this on the spinner and gotten rid of those creepy holes and ended up with really huge cells because I would have allowed a lot of paint to come up. In the end, I didn't have enough green, I thought, so I added another little puddle of it and I spun it around or, you know, tipped it only to find this morning that there's green there, there's green there, there's green there. You know what I can't find? Any of my blue, a little bit of my blue black from, um, what's that place? <laughs> PBO? Yeah. That's it. That's all of it. I mean, it's probably in other places like here, but it's just for a flip cup. Maybe that's not a great color. I don't know. I haven't done one in years where you literally, well, I did one a little while back and I was using a glue and water recipe. And that was very different. That was a layered flip cup where, where I knew what, you know, they were all going to come out in blocks of color with all these multicolored cells and it did okay. But this was just with like Fro American Floetrol. And of course this morning I thought it was dry and I, I stuck my finger in it. So that's the ultimate insult there. Some of the lacing, like you can see, if you would have, if I would have put this over uh, on the spinner, I could have got some real stunning stuff, y'all, as they say, on water, uh, waterfall acrylics. That woman, oh my God, she makes me laugh unintentionally. Anywho, so then this happened. Me organizing all my stuff. This is what organized is to me, at least as far as where my stuff is. You know, my paints are all in one spot, all my mixes, my pouring mediums, everything's... I, I just mix things there. I don't do my art here, so it's a good place to store, and eventually I'll have a proper shelving thing there but for now it's pretty organized uh the spinner's right there and i've obviously i'm gonna move it and it's gonna have a little thing around it but it's big you can put a fuck oh, oops a uh, big uh you know probably a 15 or something 8 20 inch canvas on that thing so anyway it solves a lot of problems if you just remember to use it but i wanted to show you this there's thank god i have plastic on everything I was mixing up the only bit of it really dark blue that I had. I've had to, you know, really find it in small amounts here and there. But I had a big bunch of it made and it, I dropped it. It fell out, okay? And the reason the other pour didn't work was because I also dropped the canvas. Here it was. I was about to put it on the spinner and I dropped it. Luckily, it landed here. Oh, shit. Sorry. Did I say a bad word? Yeah, there. It landed right there on its face. <laughs> That's just an old canvas that I have on there. But yeah, can you believe that? So I'm amazed I got something out of this. I used the same colors I wanted. Let's go up close and see what this looks like, if, if it's at all pretty to you. By putting it on the, uh, this is just regular artist loft white with Floetrol. It almost has a halo effect because of the spinning. And yeah, there's a few um, cells there from air bubbles, but I'll tell you what, I did torch this, but if you torch it once, you probably, if you spin it, you don't have to torch it again. 
as long as you're not spinning it like crazy. There's some paints in here that are questionable. I can see little bits of schmutz here and there. I don't know that I care. Again, this was just an attempt at another one of those multicolored ones with white. And you try to get like really cool um, effects. And again, there's more white in one area, more color in the other. But <laughs> the paint was too thick. That's the irony of this one. The other one, it was too thin the first time, and I didn't have and I didn't have enough white, and it was terrible. Anyway, so yeah, that's what happened. Here's here's another example of me trying to do one of those paintings, um, and beside it, a really weird cloud effect painting. But you know, you get weird things when you do the acrylic pouring. Hey, hey, hey! I don't know why you, Bill Cosby. You sleeping yet? Okay, that's good. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there's a cloud bar. Um, so yeah, it's raining. It's a good day. My back is killing me from all the cleaning. This is what cleaning looks like down here. Just plastic everywhere. But yeah, I mix up a bunch of stuff. I, I, I cover it with that seal, um, stick and seal. It's awesome. I reuse the yogurt things They're on their 10th use. So you just wipe it out with a like a damp rag and boom, it's ready for you. So anyway... Kind of boring video. Want to just say hi, Ma. Hi, Dad. And I am plugging that thing in a little later, and I'm going to enjoy that because this has been kind of a, a bad day for pain and my back and everything. Okay. Cheerio. Adios. Love you.